hello we can see now this time education is power for human and it helps to know yourself and others this is my slogan and uh, this is my youtube channel so it's a uh, pretty picture for the people and students learners and i am presenting now sentence and its classification uh, in my channels and uh, we can see some uh, students uh, sleeping uh, that their teachers and uh, their priorities are especially their priorities are pushed around and uh, in these reasons i am trying to making a new things for the students okay and uh, this is the platform and uh, learn for life every day we learn something every moment we want to learn something for my skill and our knowledge in crazy and uh, press kinds of topic uh, i want to uh, make uh, for the students and learners uh, this is an uh, outstanding medal and uh, you can see my picture and uh, I'm coming with sentence and its classification uh, for you sentence is a word this is the definition of sentence we can see the picture a sentence is a word or, or group of words that must express a complete idea or sense or meaning and the may consist of a subject and a verb je shobdo ba shobdo shosti dara shobdo ortho prakash pay ebong ja sadharonoto korta ebong kriya dara gotito take sentence ba vakyo bole example i am coming you can read we practice english every day uh, subject uh, we practice verb english object every day, adverb and the uh, subject predicate there are two kinds of uh, sentence there are two parts first part is called subject second part predicate subject i u u he she it that is or that and predicate hoche the subject er porer ongsho next we can see kinds of sentence there are five kinds of sentence assertive sentence interrogative sentence imperative sentence optative sentence exclamatory sentence and first we have to learn assertive sentence what is assertive sentence we can see in the picture an assertive sentence is a simple or general statement and uh, or assertion either affirmative or negative assertive sentence affirmative hote pare negative hote pare kono bok sadharonoto boktobbo ke assertive sentence bolte pari amra patterns subject verb object and statement adjective verb etc example english is an international language we go to school every day in this way you can make it know this and next interrogative sentence an interrogative sentence asks questions question about a person or a things interrogative sentence such as amanati bakko jeti prashno jikish kore kono byakti ba bostu somporke it always ends with a uh, note of integration it has shown the umbra uh, uh, question mark there are two ways to form uh, an interrogative sentence at an interrogative sentence into the form price at the first beginning with the helping verbs or the auxiliary verbs and these are was or have was or have has had and model auxiliary verb shall will uh, we use shall will and model auxiliary verb and uh, and uh, be verb have verb uh, then we can make a uh, questions and another way um, past beginning we have to use what where who uh, which how whom how much uh, how many in this way but we, using this word we can make use and uh, make questions how is your father how is your mother how is your brother in this way what do you want next imperative sentence a sentence that express request command order advice request suggestion etc is an imperative sentence imperative sentence hote hole obosshoi adesh upadesh onurodh paramarsho hote hobe in an imperative sentence uh, that subject is usually unexpressed or the imperative sentence is subject byabohito hoy na eta prokashito hoy na it is understood rather um 
we can see some example and uh, take care of your health or take care of you give me red rose to eat uh, open the door close the door or uh, come around soon and never tell a lie don't run in this, uh, in this way next and uh, optative sentence how can we make you say uh, make an optative sentence how can we express our emotion through an optative uh, sentence which desire fair etc are expected are expected by the optative sentence uh, formation may first we have to use may uh, before uh, starting the sentence and uh, um, may you live long may our president live long may you be success in life and may you prosper in life in this way may you be uh, happy in this way we can make a uh, optative sentence and uh, first we should use may then we should use uh, subject then um, part okay in this way we can uh, make a uh, wish wish well, using wish we can see in the picture wish you all the best it is one kind of operative sentence and uh, long live uh, our president long live Bangladesh in this way it will make sentence exclamatory sentence this is totally outstanding uh, lesson Exclamatory is a sentence which expressed strong uh, sudden feeling uh, or emotion like surprise, pain, delight, anger, disgust, etc. How can we form an uh, exclamatory sentence which can see loss and horror and trouble of what, uh, how, uh, uh, etc. plus others? In this way, we can make an exclamatory sentence for a room or a cricket team has won the choice. Loss, he has built the competition. Uh, Bravo, we have done a great job. What a talented girl she is. How sweetly the cookie sings. How beautiful the person is. In this way, we can break exclamatory sentence. Next. And then um, put that down now. What a, an idea. What a fantastic idea. What a dangerous idea in this way. We can see according to the structure. Sentence are three types. Simple sentence complex sentence and compound sentence <clears throat> next we can uh, discuss about uh, largely uh, another topics and uh, uh, please comment and share me we can see uh, if you comments we can make better things first of all uh, structure according to structure simple sentence simple sentence is started with only one subject at the subject the a simple sentence of rhetoric could take a finite verb that is simple sentence has only uh, one or independent style um, we can see some example Bangladesh is a populated country and Paris is a small country uh, Rubina is a uh, beautiful and talented uh, girl in this way we can make a, a simple sentence life is not a bed of roses and a human is the superior in the planet money loves to eat and often uh, shuttle I love to play cricket in this way we can make simple sentence a simple sentence means Sharal Bakko in Bengalis those who are a Bengali uh, you can understand in this way and uh, next uh, complex sentence we uh, are try to discuss uh, we are trying to discuss about complex sentence Complex sentence uh, has uh, two uh, subordinate clause and uh, uh, principal clause. Uh, we can see in the picture complex sentence. Okay, sentence a sentence consisting of one principal clause and one or more subordinate clause. Act by academic subordinate clause. That's for it. Bakongsha clause. Shom the rotta bakongsha. Among pratham bakko. Among tashadesh. Shahajogi bakko. Jeta subordinate subordinate. Uh, air close uh, but both the example we can see if you work hard you will shine in life uh, if you are hard is some ordinary uh, close it also subordinate close and you will shine in life this is principal close or main close subordinate close and all in this job <coughs> we can see complex uh, sentences uh, examples i know where he lives I don't know what his name is and uh, 
while there you know what his name is and uh, while there is while life there is hope this is the proverbs and jethai jivan shethai asha we it so that we can survive amra khai jate amra baste pari uh, if you do not read attentively, you cannot trust in the examination. Next compound sentence. Sentence having more than one principal close. A kind of academic principal close talk to a back conjunction talk to a linked by one or more coordinating conjunction. She can coordinate in someone or a conjunction talk to a free sided or a comma. She can a is called compound sentence. Conjunction that are used in compound sentence. Compound sentence conjunction that are put to her are the one. But or for not also however moreover does so therefore else is still as well as according to otherwise yet not uh, uh, but also either or neither however moreover does so therefore else is still as well as according to otherwise yet not uh, uh, but also either or neither nor uh, on the contrary etc we can use uh, uh, in the compound sentence example respect others onnoder samman kor and others will respect you ebong onno tumi onnoder samman pabe she is she is nice but dishonest she tini sundori kintu oshat it is example and that he loves us but he was not sure it she amake bhalobashe kintu she seta pradarshan korte chay na Next, um, uh, though uh, she is poor, but uh, honest, she is short, kind of, uh, uh, worry. <coughs> in this way, we can make compound sentence. And uh, for watching our channel for a long time, uh, I'd like to give thanks to uh, all viewers and audience uh, in this time and moment. Thank you very much, everybody.